All right, we're back. I know it's been a while, but the past few tracks have been mile and a half. We're plate tracks, and I don't do those anymore. So we're back at Gateway, and that's what I'm calling it because it's way easier to say. So I guess let's get back to the first keys of the race card in a while. Tire management, as usual. Here I say run the middle because, well, that's basically the preferred line. You'll see two little patches of rubber when we get to the lap. Cold tires are a bitch. They're really bad for a least a lap or two, but then it gets way easier. And another one that's really hard. You'll see it in, you'll see it in a little bit. And that's pit road entry. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. You gotta use the access road and then really slow down. There's a big bump. And before we get to the lap, there's a few things I forgot to mention. There's an opening, like an opening on the back stretch. It's very easy to get tempted to get pushed out there and it's going to kill everybody. So watch out for that. So uh, let's get to pit road and talk about the lap. All right, making our way to pit road. We're going to go into three like normal. Probably break a little bit earlier. Get really hard on the brakes. Downshift to third when we peel off. Downshift to second. It kind of widens out here and I didn't take advantage of that, but... Here it's tempted to speed up, but there's a massive bump and a transition here to the left of pit road. And you can see I hit it there. You can't really hear it, but I lock the brakes up. Just be mindful when you got to slow this thing down to 45 miles per hour right at the yellow cone. As usual, we're going to speed this up. Leave our crew hanging like usual. There's our pit speed exit. Just follow this access road. Can't screw it up. Your blue cone's gonna be like right to the way left here. You gotta kinda pinch it a little bit because it narrows up significantly. And there we go, onto the lap. All right, fix it up. Fix weather like usual. I have my standard, if you didn't see that earlier, just stuff at 50, mostly cloudy. Default, you know, track temp or air temp. Anyways, the only changes I made are right here on screen. Basically, steering was, I think, default master cylinders. I moved up each. I made them each smaller by one click. And the brake bias you see right there at a 44.8. Go ahead and pause it if you got to. We're going to go ahead and get to the left, and we'll see how it's done and then talk about it. Alright, there we have it for a 33.6. Remember the track tip kind of plays a role in here. So anyways, we're going to make our way into one. I'm going to slow mode. We're in fourth gear. Now you can shift to fifth, but I don't. I just let it hit the limiter and I'm looking here at a pit wall there on the left. I'm going to start braking right as that hits the A pillar. Pretty hard braking and kind of want to downshift, but you got to wait on it a little bit because it's a little bit away from fourth gear. So third gear. So I wait a little bit, then I downshift as I'm trail breaking into the corner. And here's that line I was talking about. See these two rubber strips? I just say just patch, patch strips, I guess. I don't know. You want to keep your left sides on that bottom one, right sides on the top one. Just a lot of grip there. Not saying you can't get it on the bottom, but it sure makes it more tough. I don't know this track is late, but it's kind of what I had to work with. I wasn't even going to do it at all, but. So Noma's where it's, I'm just going to be absolutely swamped next week. You can guess why. New build. All right, with that said, we're going to power way, our way out. Shift to fourth gear. There's that backstretch thing I talked about. Now for turn three, this was a little trickier. I'm looking at the sort of patch of rubber, like laid down rubber. Right when it starts, I'm getting on the brakes. That's a really tough brake zone because it can change and get lighter or darker. Either way, I'm just trail braking. You can see I kind of go for an earlier apex, but it's because we're going to double it. We're going to get to the curb.
this curve here, we're gonna get to it, and it's kinda gonna just drift up. It's pretty much when you wanna be off the brake so it can do that little drift, and then it's gonna come back down. That's when we get on the throttle. Now you gotta be really careful here on newer tires because it just wants to step out bad. You can actually see how much I'm fighting it there. And then power out, and you're set for the lap. All right, that was it for this track. God, I know I have asked it. I'm not going to hide any of that. And we're definitely going to be back at Sonoma, but it's probably going to be another late track guy because it's build week for next week. And yeah, new stuff coming out, Mustang and all that. We're going to talk about it. Anyways, Emerson Chewy side.